where the labor movement mooted the idea of setting up cooperatives to meet unserved or underserved needs of working families. insurance or something the ordinary workers will not think about because first the main priority is their earnings enough to feed their family. When NTUC income was set up, the union was the main shareholder and being a union member, I was made aware to be able to come in as an organizer so that we can learn about insurance and learn to extend this information to our members to benefit them in protection and also save for the future. In 1973, the global oil crisis triggered a surge in food prices in Singapore. Ordinary workers found it hard to make ends meet. NTUC stepped in and started a supermarket to bring in sufficient supply of essentials. Now this co-op supermarket must be different. It is going to be efficiently managed just like any other commercial supermarket. You will get more value for your money buying here and you will also get a return 5, 10, 12 percent back every year on your purchases. When NTUC Welcome first opened its outlet, it was a great booster for the lower income and the middle income group to experience shopping in a supermarket. They have the price track steep, very, very transparent to all the items, unlike those a neighborhood store. We face challenges, lack of funds, lack of knowledge, and also lack of uh, professionalism, how to run childcare. But we believe that women join the workforce, they will benefit for themselves, the family, and society as a whole. The objective of NTUC Enterprises is to maximize the good. Today, our mission remains the same, to be here to do good. And while the work we do has evolved and expanded in scale and complexity over the years to meet changing needs of Singaporeans, our objectives and goals remain unchanged. During the haze crisis, FairPrice worked with the Ministry of Health and suppliers to ensure that N95 masks were available and that no one could profit here from the sale of N95 masks. Every social enterprise is set up for a specific do-good objective. And our right to exist depends on how we deliver this objective. And we must never forget that. Today, 
the social enterprises have come together under the umbrella of NCUC Enterprise in a common vision to make an even greater difference.